This is some extra discussion following our main video about Phil's homemade radio. Right, what we've got, so over here, we have this wonderful crystal radio. Now we covered a lot of the physics, but one thing we didn't really focus on because there's an awful lot, even though this is just a few components, this is, there's an incredible amount of physics and electronics going on in this. The core of this, as well as the diode, is what's called a tuned circuit. So when I adjust this, so nothing. And then what I'm doing is I'm changing the capacitance and that's changing what's called the resonant frequency of this circuit the frequency at which it's most sensitive. Resonance is absolutely crucial across all physics and all engineering. It's, it's first, second, third year, undergraduates, postgraduates, right across the board, it crops up time and time again from everything from pushing somebody on a swing or a mass on a spring, I like this monkey, <laughs> bumping up and down at a particular rate at its natural or resonant frequency. And that's set in this case by the stiffness of the spring and the mass of the monkey. It's a very simple equation. Yep. Similarly here, what we're doing is we're choosing a particular frequency out of a range of frequencies. This particular station broadcasts at, I think, something like, if I get this wrong, absolute radio, I apologize, but it's something like 1.2 megahertz. So 1.2 million times a second, the, the, the radio wave is moving back and forth. But this, this wire by itself isn't just picking up that signal, it's picking up all the other signals as well. So what you need to do is, is, is to narrow in and get that frequency, which is what was happening earlier. Wonderfully, we've got a mechanical, we can see this idea of resonance really straightforward. This is a very simple setup. We've got a bar, a ruler basically, and it also has its own natural frequency. We're actually going to drive it mechanically. There's a solenoid here and there's a magnet. So we're just driving it back and forth with a magnet. And to monitor the motion, we could look at this, but we're going to do something even nicer, which is we've got a laser pointer. That's quite neat because what we have is something that's going to tell us just how much this is vibrating. So what's happening is the laser going down. Down, and, and there's and a little mirror, up. and then just bouncing off. Okay. At the moment, you can see it's bobbing up and down, but not very much. No. So we're at 4 hertz, 4.4 hertz, Brady. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the frequency up. Notice I'm not driving it. The amplitude stays the same. All I'm changing is the frequency. This is really important. And okay, so it's going up, it's going up, and of course the frequency's going up, so it's bouncing around a little bit more. 12 hertz, 14 hertz, 15 hertz. Okay, so we're getting some, but not much. 16, 17, 18. Now a little bit more, but not much still. So that's not much more than when we were at 4 hertz. That's off resonance, right? So we haven't hit the natural frequency. Remember we had the monkey and it had it. So what I'm going to do is find the natural frequency. See it building up? Oh, yeah. Right? So we're at to resonant frequency, right? Now, if we go the other side of what the... What happened? Why is that thing suddenly going, yeah, I'm going crazy because now? Because what you've done is exactly with the radio circuit is you're driving it with the right frequency. It's got its own natural frequency, just as the monkey on this thing or any mass on a spring has its own natural frequency. This has its own natural frequency. And now you're driving it at that natural frequency. And what is that frequency? And that frequency is about 25 hertz. The difference is, is when you're away from that frequency, you don't get much energy transfer. So it, it's still vibrating, but when you hit that resonance, resonant frequency, that's where you get a lot of energy transfer into it. And it actually acts as a filter, because if we go above that, yeah. we're now at 33 hertz, but now we're the other side and it's dying off. And you can see that it's reduced almost to what it was when we were at 18 hertz. So you're saying when you put in the correct natural resonance frequency, energy transfer, like, does that mean it's kind of like, to, to use a term you probably won't like, is it almost like the stars have aligned and this is like, yeah, the way all my structure works and my length and my, the, what I'm made of, this is just the perfect thing for everything Precisely. to... Precisely. Yeah. You can do this experiment without driving it. This the ruler, its resonant frequency depends on its length. So if I make this long, relatively low resonant frequency. If I make it short, higher resonant frequency. You can even hear the note changing. Resonant frequency is going down. And it's, so if I took this now and I drove it at that frequency, I get a lot of energy transfer and you'll get this big response. That's what's happening here, but it gets better. So we can draw a parallel between what's here and what's here. So here we've got a mass and we've got uh, some friction. And that's, you know, friction due to the rod itself, but also with the air. And we're driving it with this. And what we also have is some stiffness, because the ruler's got some stiffness. Over here, we've got inductance, capacitance. It's being driven by this, by the, the radio waves. 
And what's absolutely remarkable is that the inductance here, if we write down the equations, I'm not going to do that, don't worry Brady, but if we write down the equations, what we find is that we can do a one-to-one -one mapping of inductance to mass, capacitance to spring constant to stiffness, also in terms of the driving force, in this case it's a mechanical driving force, in this case it's an electrical driving force, and the equation, the, the differential equation you write down is identical, and the solutions are identical. So that's why you see resonance here, and you also see resonance here at different frequencies, but it's the same phenomenon. So that moment when you got that bar to jump up and down like crazy there is the same as the moment when you got absolute radio there. Exactly. Perfect. Black or dark red. This highest point's going to be white and then scale it. Or we can do what we're doing here and we can listen to it. 